Yeah. So uh, I want to. I'm going to play this Warren video one more time, and I want you to look at the most recent. She says last night that we have a framework. We have a framework for Medicare for all, uh, and this on top of the, the other thing she said. Oh, we have a runway to get to Medicare for all. Oh, a framework. Oh, let's just get everybody to the table, you know, because that's been the problem. You know, if those greedy, greedy pharmaceutical executives could just come to the table, if those, uh, you know, wonderful, wonderful medical uh, manager, medical management companies could just get to the table, hospital providers could just come to the table. If we all just have hot tea and just talk about it, everything will be wonderful. Uh, Bottom line, Elizabeth Warren is punking America. She's not seriously for Medicare for all. Maybe her voter base, because she is rising in the polls, we can't deny that, maybe her voter base doesn't care. Because it doesn't seem to me, even though she says, I have a plan on the most important issue, healthcare is the most important issue, not just to progressives, but to those polled. If you look at the polls, the number one issue, healthcare, uh, followed by the economy and climate change is rising too. She doesn't seem to have an actual plan for this because her, the, what she talks about and how she talks about Medicare for all changes depending on the weather, what camera is in front of her, which network she's at. She is basically trying her best to eat her cake and have it too. To say, I'm with Bernie, but we got other options. You know, it, it's basically giving yourself plausible deniability that if you become the nominee, oh no, I never said I was only for Medicare for all. That's just the, that's just the promised land. That's what we want to get to. This is what every faux aggressive, faux aggressive. This is what every faux aggressive has been saying since the since the dawn of time. This is frankly what Obama promised. The election is not over, even though the corporate media wants to declare Bernie Sanders' campaign dead. Even though I literally showed you earlier this week, them CNN has, is already calling on Bernie Sanders to drop out. I do not think it's over. What I do think, Bernie Sanders, I don't want to see him aggressively go after Elizabeth Warren because I think that could backfire. But he needs to basically call her out and say, you know, I, I can't keep up. I cannot keep up uh, with what you're for. Or, or uh, are you actually for a single pay payer plan? Because you keep basically talking out of seven sides out of your mouth about Medicare for all. And the reason she's doing that is clear. She wants to basically soothe former people who were for Bernie in 2016 and make her a choice for them, that they'll come over to her because whatever, they think Bernie's too old or they think Bernie's time has passed or whatever. Not true blue burners. And I know some of those. But she also wants to kind of soothe the establishment because in politics, there's something called a wink and a nod. I got to say what I got to say right now to get elected. But don't you worry. I'll play ball. Wink, wink. I'll play ball. Don't you worry about what I'm saying now. I will be a team player. I'll play ball. I'll say we couldn't get Medicare for all done. There wasn't the votes. So then we'll end up with some private version of a public option. That's what's going to happen if you get Elizabeth Warren. You wanna know how I know? What we're all looking for is the lowest cost way to make sure everybody gets covered. And some folks are talking about, let's start lowering the age. Maybe bring it down to 60, 55, 50. That helps cover people who are most at risk and can be helpful, for example, to the labor's plans. Some people say, do it the other way. Let's bring it up from uh, everybody under 30 gets covered by Medicare. Others say, let employers be able to buy into the Medicare plans. Others say, let's let employees buy into the Medicare plans. For me, what's key is we get everybody at the table on this, that labor's at the table, that people who have to buy on their own, everybody comes to the table together, and we figure out how to do Medicare for all in a way that makes sure that we get 100% coverage in this country at the lowest possible cost for everyone. So you are a co-sponsor of Senator Bernie yep. Sanders' Medicare for, for All bill. And I understand there are a lot of different paths to universal coverage, but, yep. but his bill that you've co-sponsored would essentially eliminate private insurance. Is that something you could support? He's got a runway for that. I think we get everybody together. And 
that's what it is, we'll decide. Um, I've also co-sponsored other bills, including expanding Medicaid is another approach that we use. So theoretically though, there could be a, a role for private insurance companies could, under President or there Warren. Could be a, there could be a temporary role. Right now, what we've got in Medicare for All is a framework, and it doesn't have the details, and you're right to be asked. And part three, we got to keep moving us to a place where everybody is covered at the lowest possible cost. And there are a lot of different ways to get there. Medicare for All has a lot of different paths for how we get there. But ultimately, it's about making sure that we all adhere to the basic principle. Healthcare is a basic human right. It is our collective responsibility to make sure everybody gets coverage at the lowest possible cost. And Medicare... So, we have a runway, we have a framework, we gotta get everybody to the table, a lot of different options. How does that sound for achieving the most uphill up, uphill of policies that progressives have been trying to achieve since the Great Society era. How does that sound as your person who's going to fight for Medicare for all? And for those in the audience and those around the Twitters of here and my loving, loving girlfriend who say, Jordan, and I love my girlfriend, but she's wrong on this. Jordan, you got to be practical. Medicare for all is never going to happen. You got to work with the Democrats. You got to work with the Republicans. Blah, 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 blah. And she's giving herself a little wiggle room. You can't be a, um, what do they call that? A zealot. To that, I say Medicare for all polls at between 60 and 80%, depending on the poll. Medicare for all has overwhelming majority support in America. So why is it that the corporate democratic establishment talks out of two sides of its breath? They, they condemn the Republicans. 90% of Americans want tighter background checks on guns, which is true, and we should have way tighter background checks on guns. Why is it that for the, when, when the number is about guns, which pretty much everyone agrees with that, the banks, the Wall Street banks are okay with tighter gun control. You know, no, no, the special interests are kind of okay with that. So when it's 90%, it's a moral imperative. We got to do this. But when 70% want Medicare for all, we just can't get it done. And Elizabeth Warren goes up there. Maybe it's because she's going around the country having hot tea with the leaders of the Democratic establishment. Maybe it's because she's on the phone with Hillary Clinton, which recently came out being reported. I don't know. I don't know. And a lot of you don't like it when I tell you what I honestly think. I, I don't think she's as bad as Hillary Clinton. I know there's others that are basically painting her as Lucifer. I, I don't think she's I don't think she's as bad as Clinton, Biden, Harris, but that doesn't mean this is acceptable. Forget progressive or conservative. Just look at the numbers. Healthcare in the midterm elections. Forty one percent of those voters in the midterm elections, healthcare was the top issue. Seventy percent currently pulled Medicare for all. They want Medicare for all. I'm about to tell you there are more stories coming out. I'll just give you the headline. Just give you the headline in the New York Times. Employer health insurance is increasingly unaffordable. New study says. So I don't know. Elizabeth Warren, she's got a plan for everything, right? Even though most of them are recycled Bernie Sanders plans. You know, oh, Elizabeth Warren, headlines that, oh, Bernie borrowing a page from Warren uh, issues a wealth tax. Bernie Sanders was proposing a wealth tax when Elizabeth Warren was still a Republican. Sorry. Bernie Sanders proposed a wealth tax in 2014 and 2017. So who's borrowing from who? Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Stop.